about you? I'm amazing, doing well, excited for the weekend. How about you? Yeah, of course. Uh, not a special plan, but yeah, mm -hmm. like all the stuff because uh, I have not been able to do my thing. Uh, I was within tested prison, so yes, this is uh, the time I would try to get in my routine. I try okay. to uh, be normal with my routine. Fantastic. So what have you uh, planned for the next two days? Uh, all time studies only, like revising stuff and all that. Okay. So for fun, generally I uh, watch uh, matches, even mm -hmm. the highlight, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, singing, listening singing, to songs and singing. Yeah. Yes. And okay. uh, mm -hmm. uh, like sometimes even I watch some movies, but not generally. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would like to ask one question related to this. Like so yes, many please. times I have been told that watch uh, English with series or like the Netflix or something like that. Mm -hmm. But what I have observed, like which works for me, when I uh, go on watching all this, I think that this is the best of time. So instead of watching all this, if I have to watch uh, for purpose of improving my English, I would watch a new channel like BBC and uh, or maybe some podcast. Okay. So uh, that would work better for me. And uh, I think that way. But this is like this is a question of argument as well. Or maybe it might depend from person to person. It differs from person to person. Yeah. And uh, for me, it uh, suits that way. So I think that uh, watching. Uh, BBC News or even one channel is there, BBC Learning English. So uh, listening to that channel would uh, help me a lot. And uh, I recommend that okay. for uh, even the beginners or someone who is at my level that instead of watching Netflix, mm -hmm. uh, start doing all this. Like there you would, uh, would get to listen to the native speaker and you will get that listening habit as well so that you can uh, also watch Netflix or something like uh, Hollywood movies and uh, move on to watching them without subtitles. Okay, it is actually not a topic of argument as such. It's just a matter of preference. So uh, a lot of people would not get hooked on to BBC, I, I believe, uh, because it's not that entertaining. Of course, it's very knowledgeable. No one can uh, deny that. You gain a lot of knowledge, but uh, a lot of people also seek entertainment, right? So when it comes to watching Netflix or shows on Amazon Prime, whatever, my first advice to everyone would be the first time when you're watching any movie, just watch it for the sake of knowing the story, right? Like how you would yeah. watch a movie in your uh, native language, correct? You don't okay. watch the yes. movie for learning the language. You just watch it for entertainment, just to know the story about the yeah, characters, yeah, right. etc. So the first time when you're watching, just watch it purely for entertainment. And maybe after a couple of days, if you wish, you can watch parts, just you know, bits and pieces of the movie uh, to improve your English. Okay, uh, Those parts where you felt like, okay, um, that word was interesting or that phrase or that sentence was uh, quite fun to listen to. You can just re-watch it once or twice and try to make it a part of your vocabulary or try to make it a part of your speech so right. that is it yeah and bbc the learning english part uh, i think that's a great option again that's a great alternative for people who are very very serious about you know getting everything technically correct when they are talking right so it would 100 percent help them so whatever suits you the best you can go with that yeah of course. and like uh, uh, like you explained it uh, that is the point uh, i was trying to explain mm -hmm. that when we watch it like first, yeah. we will have to watch it twice or thrice maybe to mm. understand properly. Yeah. Uh, first time you watch it and then second time you can go uh, after looking for those words which were mm -hmm. which you were unable to understand. So mm -hmm. in that sense, it is too much time taking. Or instead of but that, isn't that it, true it, for anything? Uh, if you are watching a video on English grammar, maybe the day you watch it, you understand it. But after a couple of days, there are chances we forget and we have to re-watch the same video. Or don't yeah, you think that's that a is, common thing for all yeah, the that, uh, that learning? Yeah, that is common. And uh, for that, I was coming to the next part. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, if we watch uh, that BBC Learning English, there are the short videos are there, six minutes or 10 minutes. 
so if you listen to that or watch to uh, that again and again even you can do that in one day like in one day you can watch the same video twice or thrice so that would be more beneficial for especially those uh, beginners or even the intermediate level learners yeah That's for beginners the, what you mentioned is, is correct you know for beginners it's true i think in that uh, particular channel they have content for different levels of english right beginners intermediate advanced so i yeah, think that yeah, definitely right. works for beginners so uh, i normally suggest them to watch short interviews on youtube i never usually recommend watching web series directly or just tell them watch like short yeah, interviews right, of right. your favorite celebrities and uh, that should be enough and this is also a great option uh, there is also a website called bbc.com uh, have you been on it have you visited that um, no this is the first time i'm listening okay okay so today after the session if you have any uh, free time you can go on google and type bbc.com so in the home page uh, everything that's happening in the world like right current affairs uh, articles on nutrition so many different topics you'll find that on the home page okay so i always tell right. my learners what you do uh, you don't have to click on every single article and read it that's pretty insane we don't have that much time but at least you can go through the headlines right so it's just right, one or two right. sentences just go through the headlines and uh, you learn a lot you learn a lot about english and also whatever is happening around the world right now so it will give you the confidence that okay i have the knowledge to speak on different topics right so that's also right. something that you can use and also recommend to your students if you wish all right sir and like uh, uh, when we are talking about this thing uh, for complete mm -hmm. beginners even this is not a recommendable like uh, if someone is complete beginner uh, he should start first listening to the short stories that are available for kids like the available uh, and terrible uh, stories that are available so many stories are available on youtube mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. that uh, that is what i generally suggest to all my learners because they are of course pretty much beginner like the basic yeah. learners very true that's a good thing even i recommend comic books to the learners who are like basic beginners who cannot you know even um, introduce themselves without making mistakes in english who are at the beginner stage i recommend uh, them to watch cartoons to watch uh, to read comic books and just you know listen to english songs you know some simple english songs so that they are in touch with it all the time right so these yeah, are the right, right. yeah okay do you like, like listening to songs yeah of course i listen to uh, but sometimes some like uh, yeah sometimes i listen Okay. and uh, like there are some uh, my, of my favorite songs because mm -hmm. uh, like i'm inclined towards music so what happens with me if i am listening to music i get in tune to that like yeah. i would keep listening the same uh, song time and again yeah the, uh, the extent that i could if i could try to sing that as well yeah so uh, this is the uh, this is also a reason that i sometimes try to avoid it like uh, mm. let's listen to some uh, or the other interviews that is much better <laughs> but okay for so, enjoyment purpose it's okay and like uh, this is what i was trying to say that before joining clapping room mm -hmm. this is how i was working on my like uh, uh, i have maybe i have told it earlier as well like mm. sometimes i used to watch some of the other uh, videos of yeah. uh, other learners of clapping room or cambly or other platform and in, at their turn i used to pause and speak that how would i uh, speak the same answer or how would i i answer the same question so it it's okay. like that uh, the tutor is talking to me right so i used to do this a lot before joining and then finally i uh, thought that okay this is the time now i should try it. okay that's pretty good that's a very good practice um earlier i used to recommend one simple strategy to the learners and that was when you're watching any interview right of 10 minutes or 15 minutes first just watch the whole thing okay and then when you watch it again pause once the uh, interviewer finishes asking the question and you become the celebrity and you answer it right, right. i used to recommend this uh, before i mostly do this with intermediate level students or advanced not for absolute beginners because that would kind of intimidate them so i don't say give yeah, this for the course, beginners course. just for the intermediate students of course yeah, so right. this is a great practice that uh, you had been doing and 
clearly it has benefits right so uh, now you speak confidently uh, you are okay with expressing your opinion so i'm pretty sure it helped you a lot yeah it has helped me. but uh, uh, recently like i feel uh, some uh, sometimes in last two or three weeks i yeah. feel like getting stuck from here onward what mm -hmm. are the things that i'm doing yeah. and uh, how would i reach the upper level maybe the advanced or c1 or c2 level okay okay so for that i would again circle back to the songs part you told me that you listen to a song you get hooked on to it and you start singing it right so it's actually a good thing okay right. so uh, my uh, my advice to you would be not to be too hard on yourself now uh, since your grammar and everything is okay uh, you can focus more on not being too conscious about what you're speaking just let go speak freely okay what happens yeah. is that when you're extremely conscious of every single word that you're uttering for you or for the level that you are at i would uh, strongly you know uh, recommend you to not be extremely conscious of every single word that you're uttering because i can see that before you speak to me it's simultaneously also going in your mind and you huh. right yeah yeah right this is what i have been told like last hmm. few sessions in every okay. session this is being told to me and that has uh, i mean made me worried a lot that really what wrong going with me what i'm trying yeah, to do you're just too conscious about everything you're just too focused on not committing a single mistake and just wanting to get everything perfect it's good the motivation is amazing but uh, don't be too hard on yourself okay just enjoy just let yourself free talk freely what your opinions come to your mind try to you know increase the pace with which you talk okay uh, use a bit of body language so that your attention is not only on your words it's also on your gestures right so try to yeah, take right. focus on different different things yeah i think that would help you so uh, yeah okay. uh, thank yeah. you for this you're welcome but uh, mm -hmm. since last few days i when i get this sort of comments so yeah. it uh, makes me feel worried a bit that yes there is something wrong with me i need to change some or the other things so, uh, the techniques that i'm using right now so yes see uh, it's not uh, that anything is wrong with you or the techniques it's just that now those techniques that you were using maybe they are a bit outdated and you have to uh, you know upskill to something different right those yeah, techniques right, right. were very good they served you very well that's why you are here at this stage now yeah. it's time to uh, revamp uh, yourself right so just uh, treat it like that okay and yeah. second thing raj uh, whenever any such feedback is given the uh, please don't uh, let it discourage you it's not for discouraging we can see the potential in you right so we want you to scale up that's why we honestly say like what it is that you can focus upon so my request would be don't get discouraged be motivated uh, just look at it as a stepping stone for going you know one step higher than what you are right now yeah of course of yeah. course like uh, that is the thing that i always uh, keep with me like if i'm getting some or the other uh, suggestion mm -hmm. it's always good for me so it's yes. not about uh, being worried like maybe yes. the wrong words are getting conscious to... you get to, yeah. you get to conscious right yes of course so uh, yeah. it always encourages me to do much better mm -hmm. but yeah. uh, there i need to i mean really think that okay what are the things that i'm doing wrong and mm -hmm. how to correct it so that is mm -hmm. the one thing it is not about worrying but mm -hmm. it of course about uh, planning the next uh, step okay um okay i'll give you a very fun technique uh, using which you can overcome this uh, first of all it's all in the mindset i always say this i always repeat it it's all in the mindset right yeah. so if you're free in the mind you you'll be much better when you're speaking also right so this is the first thing and second try to practice uh, tongue twisters right so right. You, there are so many different tongue twisters you can get it on the internet right so it's a very fun way to learn english and try to kind of record yourself if you want to actually see whether you're progressing or not day one when you're doing this record yourself and keep doing it every day so when you're practicing tongue twisters your tongue it kind of gets used to you know speaking with a rhythm right your okay. pace of speech increases a little more right and there's a bit of rhythm that comes and you kind of finally uh, try to learn how to have fun with english right so right. try to do this okay so every day for 5 yeah. minutes not more than that uh, 
it would be insane if i tell you to do it for 30 minutes and all so no, you no. need to do that 5 uh, minutes actually yeah this is one thing that i have been doing as well but uh, like i said mm-hmm. that something like the uh, after my trip and then the festive season so yeah it's been more than a month that i have not been able to do anything except uh, the normal things like uh, reading your paper and uh, speaking or something like that so the other okay. things that i was doing that have been uh, on abeyance for a month mm okay okay so uh, i'm pretty sure you will figure that out uh, since you know your time schedule the best i really can't comment on that so um there were festivals it's okay to you know kind of let go of all these things during festival season it's a time after, to after. be with your family <laughs> eat good food enjoy yeah. celebrate right so it's totally fine right, whenever right. you yeah. get good uh, good amount of time you can uh, jump mm. on that uh, serious practice bandwagon again and continue yeah okay all right fantastic good so but it's good to see that you're so serious about uh, improving your english uh, speaking skills so are you still working as a math teacher only or have you also included english as one of the subjects that you teach so i have to start the other stuff as well and i have been teaching english uh, for i mean last one year okay and uh, before that uh, i used to share my like with my friends or, or even some students who are eager who were eager to uh, know something so that was the sharing part but of course i have been teaching it as well okay great so um if can i give you one small tip regarding this english uh, coaching yeah of course okay you said you started off with english grammar right it's yeah. very important it's a very critical aspect of english otherwise none of the sentences will make sense right, right, uh, right. maybe the first uh, one or two classes like the demo sessions that you take for the students don't take uh, related to grammar okay just uh, teach them the basics of how to introduce themselves give them sample sentences that they, they, they can use and customize according to their profession their city etc okay and right. uh, try to uh, show them how to have a proper conversation the factors that are important to have conversation in english and it is not just grammar there are a lot of other things involved so you can expose them to that aspect in your demo session also so that they don't feel right. like it's right. just going to be a boring uh, grammar class uh, here right so yeah, uh, try to introduce course. them to the practical aspects of english speaking so i think that yeah, is right. okay thank you thank you for you're this welcome. suggestion yeah thanks a lot yeah, yeah. i mean you're welcome <laughs> okay then uh, all right anything else you want to share um uh, no we should move on yeah okay let's let's just move on uh, today's topic of discussion is about species uh, preservation so is this okay. a topic that intrigues you are you like aware yeah. about the species that are going extinct right now that are endangered so do you know about all of this uh, to be honest i i don't read on this uh, topic much mm-hmm. so i'm not aware that much but of course like uh, i have been recently listened about the cheetah yeah. and mm-hmm. uh, some of them have been brought in by and uh, nigeria maybe if i'm mm-hmm. not wrong okay so yes uh, these are the things that need to be done because if uh, some or the other species are going extinct mm-hmm. or or the, on the verge of going extinct we need to preserve them for sure okay. and uh, whatever we can do we should do that right absolutely so um, have you heard of this word animal testing uh, no I'm not uh, sure. Animal testing is a, a procedure where animals are used uh, as bait for you know testing different products before releasing them into the market for humans. For example, cosmetics. So cosmetics are first. Uh, most of the cosmetic brands, at least, they test their products first on animals, and once they deem it to be safe, it's released into the market for our consumption, right? so do you think it's a good practice or uh, do you think we should completely refrain from animal testing mm. uh, i think i mean uh, it is good one mm-hmm. uh, okay whatever your view is i totally respect that that's okay you can speak confidently i mean i am unable to uh, get it clearly so 
Mm, which aspect uh, are you ambiguous about still? So there are a lot of chemicals that go into cosmetics, right? So before okay. testing it on humans, they test it on animals to see if there are any reactions. So yeah, I hope you got it now. Yeah, right. Uh, so of course, I mean it's good one uh, because they need to test it some on someone or the other. So but uh, they need to take care of that as well. That if but uh, that's what I'm trying to say that. Uh, this is, this is something that can be seen uh, in different ways. Like mm -hmm. if we are focusing more on human, we can say it, it is good. But if we are uh, focusing on animals only, it yeah. may sound uh, not good that much as well. Okay, fine. Makes but sense. if it is the only option, it is good. Yeah, if it's the only option. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And but uh, yeah, go on. No, uh, that's what I was saying. Okay, so there are, the yeah, there are actually a lot of uh, vegan vegan brands also these days. A lot of cosmetic brands, food brands, etc. Especially cosmetics. So uh, they don't do animal testing at all and their products work fine actually. So I think the rest of the brands can uh, kind of try to understand how it works so that they can also completely eliminate the animal testing part in their company. So I think there's a lot to learn from everyone. Yeah, of course, of course. That, uh, that's what I was saying, that if it is the only option, uh, there is no other option, then we should go for it. But if uh, we can look uh, for the substitute mm -hmm. or, or for the other way, we should definitely try and explore that uh, path as well. Right, absolutely. So uh, what do you think about pets? Uh, have you ever uh, kept any pets at home? Uh, no, no, because I think like having pets at home mm -hmm. uh, needs a lot of time, and I mean, we need to take uh, care of them properly. And I'm not the one who can take care of them, so I yeah. do not prefer to have. And uh, if I correctly remember, I once had like parrot at my home, okay. but uh, the other members of my family they are not interested in that. And they uh, don't keep, uh, or they don't want to keep it that way. So only because of this reasons, we do not have any. Yes. Uh, so uh, having a pet at home, it's a lot of responsibility because it's also a living being, and it's also equivalent yeah. to having a kid at home. To be very honest with you, like yeah, my cousin has uh, two, two or three dogs at his place. Okay, and. It's like a house on fire all the time. So they are always so active. They are playing. You have to feed them on time. You have to clean them. So except for the education part, everything else is equivalent to taking care of a baby. Right. right. Okay. Cool. So in the future. And what you... about you? I mean, do you love or do you have in at your place? No, no, no. I I don't have any pets at home right now. But when I was in school, maybe in second or third standard. We had a couple of uh, stray cats that we used to feed and eventually they became our pets, right? So they didn't leave yeah. our home and they started oh, staying oh. with us. So it was like that. But uh, never a conscious effort to keep any pets. We also had fish for a brief period of time, but they didn't survive for long. And after that, we kind of thought, okay, we, we really don't want to do this, right? So, yeah. Yeah, right. Okay. Fantastic. So in the future, if you have all the time in the world and uh, help or uh, someone to help you with to take care of the pets, would you like to keep them? Maybe dogs or cats or whatever animals you want. I would love to have rabbits. Okay, rabbits. Yeah. Unique choice. Huh. I mean, uh, they seem uh, very cute. They look very cute. Right, they do. Uh, so the, the white ones have like really red eyes, right? Right, right. And uh, like one of my nephews had yeah. uh, uh, at their place mm -hmm. and uh, he kept it for almost maybe six or eight months maybe. Mm -hmm. And after that, uh, the rabbit died. And like uh, he is just uh, five or six years old and he was crying. And I felt bad for him as well. Right, yeah. But... Uh, yeah, that is one thing. Because of all those things, I love mm -hmm. that. Mm, okay, okay. 
so i really hope that you uh, get a chance to you know pet a rabbit in the future since you are interested and uh, i think we are running out of time a little bit so yeah. when it comes to the feedback the only feedback to you would be just uh, talk freely don't be super conscious about anything you are a good speaker of the english language you have nothing to be conscious about so it should motivate you to you know be more open minded and speak freely okay That's yeah sure 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 Thank That's you. Only for this lovely session. It's Most always welcome. pleasure to talk with you. Thanks and a lot, Raj. You're very kind. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Okay, then. Take care. Bye. Take care. Bye.